Welcome to Telco Customer Churn Analysis Presentation. Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Hassan. This is Samar Masoud, and I am going to start our presentation with a sample introduction about the telecommunication company and customer churn. So, first of all, uh, network devices and communication services has become a part of our daily life, and this led to a very uh, high competition between different companies so when the customer uh, leave or switch to other company that's what they define as a uh, customer churn so what we can use as uh, churn analysis so churn analysis can be used to analyze analyze the the loss the loss rate in order to reduce the the rate of customer churn and we have here we have very good example of uh, churn analysis used with a German uh, banking firm to improve their customer retention rate by 85% and reduce the customer churn rate from 10% to 3% So we move to problem statement and objective. So the two main uh, issue for any telecommunication company that the customer they switch or they move to another competitor, and maybe in other cases the customer will not renew their subscriptions. So in our objectives, we have to we will looking to analyze the customer churn patterns based on demographic and also analyze the impact of provided service on customer decision. Now we are clear with the problems and what we are trying to achieve in this project. Before we can proceed to the next step, we need to have a data set for us to analyze and derive the insights from it. Having data set itself is not enough. We need to have a data set that contains the relevant fields to our objective. We found a data set from Kaggle which fulfilled all these requirements. The data set is published in 2018. It contains 7,000 rows and 21 attributes. Among these 21 attributes, it can be further categorized into two, three major fields. The first one is the demographic field. The second part is the service offered by a telco. And the part is the other field. Now we have all the raw data ready, but we are not ready to jump into the analysis part. Before we do the analysis on the data, we need to pre process the data and transform it into a form that's useful for analysis. I will leave the pre processing part for my friends to explain more in details. In this project, the methodology that we implemented to achieve the objectives is following the data analysis process as shown below. After understanding the data requirements and specifications and collecting the data based on our objectives, we then further move on to the data understanding and pre-processing, which includes data cleaning and data transforming. After studying the structure and statistics of the data, we realize one of the variables, which is total charges, is having 11 missing values. Upon further investigation on the distribution of the variable by using the box plot method, we decided to impute the 11 missing values by using the median value as the data is positively skewed. Once all the data are clean, we then convert all the factor categorical variables to a standardized format, which is factor numeric format. Below are the examples that with how we transform the data into the factor numeric format. By transforming the data, it will help to ease the work in the data analysis, which will be presented by my team at in the next. After the data extractions, we are able to identify the percentage of uh, churn. So there's a 73% of uh, survivor, where there's a uh, 26% of uh, churners. So look into demographic uh, gender versus churn. We can see from the graph 
it's almost like having the same distributions between these two gender. Uh, female have uh, 3.5k, where male have uh, 3.6k. Let's look from another view. It's a senior citizens versus churn. So the zero represent non-senior citizens and the one represent the senior citizens. Uh, from here, we are able to identify the senior citizens actually has more churn rate compared to non-senior citizens. Let's drill down. Um, we have three different contracts in this uh, data set. It seems like the lesser the time bond to a contract, the higher the likeliness there will be churn and vice versa. After we add in uh, one more dimension into the graph, we are able to identify they are having the same distributions between non-senior citizens and senior citizens throughout the three different uh, contracts. Not limit to a uh, contract, we are able to see from the tenure churn by citizen type too. So the non-senior citizens churn more in the tenure one to three months. Even the senior citizens has a similar pattern as you can see from the right hand side, the right hand side graph. But the survival rate is higher than the non-senior citizens. Hello, I'm Mohamed Alpha and I'm going to present the result. So uh, the result for the internet service provided will be uh, analyzing this result from uh, different service provided to customers. So uh, from this graph, what we can see here is that it is the analysis of the services uh, that the customer signed up for. For instance, we have here the DSL service, the fiber optical service, and the, uh, the no service. For, from these three uh, chart, bar chart here, we can see that the fiber optical service has the one that has got the highest number of churn rate. And coming to the monthly charges, uh, here we can see from the figures that it was observed that the lower monthly charges for a customer, the higher the likeliness for the customer to continue the subscription. The reason behind this is that the reason behind this is that uh, the that the lower monthly charges means that the lower monthly uh, commitment for a customer, which will not burden them for uh, financially, if they choose to uh, continue the subscription uh, to the telco service. On the other hand, when the monthly charges are higher, the total amount of charges you uh, accrue throughout the whole tenure duration, and that will be in a higher magnitude. Now, the sole reason uh, can discourage users from uh, continuing to subscribe to telco plan. Hence, the, it will uh, lead the uh, customer to churn. Now, the, this graph is uh, the tenure density plot. The, uh, we can observe that the lower the tenure, the higher the duration uh, for the customer, and then the higher rate of uh, churn. Now, customers with longer tenure have a lower churn density, likely due to uh, the customer already being satisfied with the service, and then changing to a new telco provider will be hassle to them. And it is highly advisable for telco companies to look into these monthly charges in order to prevent customers from churning. Now, this plot is the total charges density plot. So we can see that the churn density actually surpasses the non-churn density. However, both phone and non-churn density are uh, denser towards the lower value char uh, total charges. Now, an explanation to this result is that most of the customers either have a combination of small monthly charges and long tenure duration of the opposite, a large number of monthly charges and a short tenure duration. For the next part of the results, um, we've created a heat map of the numerical variables to see the correlation between these numerical variables. So what we have is, well, what we observe is that all the numericals, ver numerical variables have positive correlation with each other based on this Pearson correlation. So you can see um, 
the tenure has 0.25 um, correlation with monthly charges or 0.83 with total charges and monthly charges has 0.65 uh, positive correlation with total charges. So um, what we can see here is that monthly charges has lower effect on the tenure duration compared to the total charges. Um, 0 0.25 as compared to 0 0.83. This simply means that the monthly charges, you know, um, low monthly charges doesn't necessarily mean that the tenure of the customer will be longer, you know, because it has a lower correlation as compared to total charges. Next, we have churn outcome on tenure versus monthly charges. So we can see here the concentrated, concentration of churning customers is concentrated here at high monthly charges with low tenure duration, right? So um, also we could see the relationship between the tenure duration versus the concentration of the churning customers. As the tenure duration lengthens, um, we see that there are less concentration of churning customers. So the company has to focus on this part, uh, basically in determining why the customers are churning. Next, um, the churn outcome on tenure versus total charges. Just now we had monthly charges, this one is total charges. So what we see is that customers are churning with a higher total charges across tenure duration. So uh, all of them are concentrated on the higher, this uh, top part with total charges at each tenure duration compared to this lower part, right? Um, so we see that um, it's currently happening and the con churn concentration is more with less tenure duration. So less tenure duration, we have more concentration of churn. It's more prevalent in this uh, earlier tenure duration. So to conclude, as a conclusion, there were two objectives that have been met. The first one is that we have successfully analyzed customer churn patterns based on their demographics. Uh, we see that female and the male, the churn rate are uh, generally is the same. Uh, as for senior citizen, more senior citizen are churning compared to um, the non-senior citizen, which means old people are churning more. So um, other than that, we also see month-to-month -month contract um, having a higher churn uh, percentage compared to monthly or yearly, uh, sorry, yearly or two years. And also the same distribution were observed um, across uh, the same tenure duration for senior and non-senior um, customers as well. As for the second part, we see uh, to analyze the impact of provide, uh, provided service on customer decision. We see that fiber optic uh, customers, customers that subscribe fiber optic has higher churn rate uh, compared to DSL or um, no internet services. And other than that, we also see that um, people with longer tenure uh, tend to churn less. So these are the observations that we have uh, observed uh, based on our EDA on this telco churn analysis. So the company has to look on these uh, key indicators and values to make sure that what, uh, to make sure that these variables can be changed or uh, accommodated uh, towards a better uh, non-churn rate or customer loyalty retention. Thank you.